Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm going to be giving you my TBR for the book Buddy-a-thon. Uh, I'm really excited and it's really nice to have been hearing that so many of you are looking forward to taking part two. I love this readathon, I love running it, um, I love the fact that it gets us um, involved in chatting to each other and finding new friends. Um, it was wonderful I heard that one of you had found a new online friend um, through the readathon which I just think is amazing and that's what it's all about. Um, so today I'm just going to tell you the books that I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be taking part for the whole month you can do it however you want if you've not seen the announcement video check it out and that explains more there uh, but I shall be trying to do the whole bingo board which equals 12 books if I can manage it throughout the month and four challenges so let's find out which books I have picked to read for 90210 pick a book with numbers in the title I shall be reading five feet apart and that is by Rachel Lipcott and Mickey Daltrey and Tobias Iaconis. This book is about our main character Stella. She is waiting for a lung transplant and because of that cannot afford to get any infections and needs to be at least six feet apart from anybody um, to, to stop the spread of germs. Will is also in hospital and is desperate to get out. As soon as he turns 18 he's leaving, he doesn't want to be there and um, has a totally different mindset to Stella about what he wants and yet when they meet each other um, I think that there um, there is a romance, a budding romance and a friendship for sure and uh, perhaps the distance between them becomes more of a problem. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what I think of this one. For Dawson's Creek that is a book over 400 pages because Dawson's Creek was many 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 seasons long and for that I'm going for Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This is the second book in this duology. Um, it comes after Strange the Dreamer which I absolutely loved. I love Lainey Taylor writing and I'm looking forward to reading this one finally. It's also on the shortlist for the SFF Awards and so it's a book that I need to get to and what better time than during this readathon to push myself to dive in um, and re- uh, reintroduce myself to this world which I really enjoyed. For the prompt new girl you need to read a book that is new to you, a new to you author, a new book, um, whatever new means to you. For uh, this I've gone for new to me author as I haven't read Maya Lund before and uh, I certainly haven't read History of Bees. I've wanted to read this book for ages, it's been on my TBR for a long time, it's set over three time periods, it's set in 1852 um, where we're looking at someone who's creating a new beehive, it's set in 2007 where we're looking at beekeepers and trying to keep beekeeping alive and then we are looking far in the future in 2098 where a man is having to paint pollen onto trees um, because I'm assuming uh, bees are not around anymore, I'm not sure so I will find out and let you know. Pretty Little Liars is a book, uh, a thriller or a book with dark themes and I've picked Bad Romance by Heather Demetrius. I enjoy Heather Demetrius's writing. This is one that's been on my TBR for quite a while. I believe it's got a um, toxic relationship. I'm not sure if it is um, a violent relationship, um, but there's definitely some dark topics in here covered um, with family dynamics as well as relationship dynamics. For the Gilmore Girls, Girls Challenge, we have asked you all to read a book off the Rory Gilmore um, reading list. For that, I've got four choices and I'm leaving it open to see how I feel at the time. One of them is a tree grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith the other is Truman Capote's cold blood or if I don't want to read those I have a book called the group by Mary McCarthy or failing that if I don't want to read any of those I also have to kill a mockingbird by Harper Lee but in graphic novel format for friends we want you to read a book with a friend the buddy read which is the main point of book buddyathon and myself and Janet from swirly girly reads are going to be reading on the come up by Angie Thomas together in this book we follow Bry who wants to be one of the greatest rappers of all time for big bang theory we want you to read a book that your buddy thinks you will love Janet has been um, not sneaky here but she's picked a book she thinks I will love but one she thinks I would never pick up on my own and that is The Sisters Brothers. Um, she knows that I'm not necessarily into the sort of Western type story and that perhaps this isn't one that I would pick up on my own but she is adamant that she thinks I will enjoy it so I shall be giving it a go. I wanted to make sure that I broke my reading up a little bit and so for the option of Sex in the City where we ask you to pick four books and ask your buddy to pick which one of those to read, I picked four graphic novels and Janet picked Twisted Romance 
which is uh, 12 Tales of Love from Comics Hottest Talents. So I'm looking forward to reading these 12 tales and seeing what I think. I certainly enjoy the front cover, so this one looks good. For the prompt of girls, we ask you to read a graphic novel or a picture book or a manga, and I'm going to be reading volume nine of Saga. For prompt the OC, we ask you to read a book with orange on the cover. I've gone for this one, which is Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. I think this is going to be a really interesting read. It's a YA feminist novel about two girls at school who feel like art is really important and yet the poetry and drama departments aren't really providing the type of thing that they're looking for so they set up their own feminist club and uh, this is the fallout from it. Will and Grace is a book with LGBTQIA plus themes and I've picked uh, this Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens because I believe it has those themes although I'm not 100% sure but I think that I have heard somewhere that it does and I don't want to spoil myself it's not in the blurb but fingers crossed and if not I will just have to pick up another one afterwards. This is the story of a girl, she's part of a friendship group called the Hexagons who are always on the lookout for a little bit of trouble and having a giggle. Things like uh, you know what happens to your socks when they go in the microwave. However when they start meddling in people's love lives then things start to blow up. The final prompt is Glee a comfort read. Now you may think it ends with us by Colleen Hoover is not a comfort read however um, contemporary romance and contemporary stories um, or sort of new adult, anything that type of um, uh, a way is definitely a comfort read for me. It's something I enjoy, it's something I can sort of um, flick through, it's the sort of thing I would read on the beach which I feel is like a comforty place and so I shall be picking up this one. I don't know much about the story of this one but I know it's about a young woman who's worked hard to get where she is um, she go to college and get a good job. She forms a relationship with a neurosurgeon who is adamant that he doesn't want to do a relationship. Um, there's also a someone from her past and I'm sure that there's going to be all sorts of things going on and I've heard nothing but good things so I shall be looking forward to reading this one. So that's my TBR for Book Buddyathon. I'm really excited um, to hear that those of you are taking part and I can't wait to see your TBRs for this. If you've not got a booktube channel then make sure you let me know down below what you plan to read for your prompts and uh, let me know how you're doing it. Are you doing it for a week? Are you doing it for a month? Um, I just be really interested to find out and if you have got a YouTube channel and you have posted a TBR make sure you let me know so that I can go and check it out and if I don't already subscribe to you then I definitely should. Uh, anyway that's it from me and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now booktube!